Tree says the average unpaid credit card balance was more than $6,800 in the fourth quarter. But some economists say the debt level is not as alarming as it might seem. They say workers are still seeing their pay increase, the stock market is on solid footing, and attitudes towards the economy have improved in recent months. Economists also say after adjusting for inflation, the current debt level is nearly 20 percent below a peak it reached in late 2008. With spring showers comes full-bloomed flowers. I'll show you some of the flowers in Riviera that you can check out while you still have the chance. Hey, good afternoon, folks. Chris 6 meteorologist Bill Alexander, and we are looking at Snoopy's live weather cam, looking to the west-southwest across Laguna Madre towards the southern end of Flower Bluff. And some good visibility out there. We did manage seven hundredths of an inch of rain officially at the Naval Air Station, and some parts of the area got substantially more. I showed you that earlier, but the rainfall associated with that is now moving out of the area. The clouds are hanging tough, though, so it's kind of a cool day out there. 65 degrees your high. Now normal is 77 and 54 your low this morning and just one hundredth of an inch officially at uh, Corpus Christi International but very close to there about a quarter of an inch and quite a bit more as I mentioned uh, elsewhere and it's still rain cooled across south central Texas down into the coastal bend where you got the mercury hovering in the 50s to lower 60s. You have middle to upper 60s elsewhere across the state. Now across our area we're still looking at upper 50s in many locales and lower 60s to middle 60s elsewhere. So it still feels cool out there with that east northeasterly wind. And overnight tonight, it is going to be kind of cool. Mid 50s to mid 60s. So the mercury is not going to change much overnight. And you can count the cloud cover for that. So th things are going to stay on the cool side, but they do moderate a little bit tomorrow as our winds become more east southeasterly and start to pick up. It'll be kind of breezy tomorrow. So what we're going to be looking at is a little bit of a change. Here's the change. Yes, cloudy and a little bit warmer tomorrow into the lower 70s in many locations, but we're also going to see some showers begin to return to the area, mainly in the afternoon. For example, the coastal waters tomorrow, mostly cloudy, breezy in the afternoon with those isolated showers beginning to appear. With a high around 70 degrees, look at the water temperatures dropped off to about 64 degrees. With that southeast wind at 10 to 15 gusting to 20 knots in the afternoon. It's going to make for slightly choppy to occasionally choppy bays and about three foot seas, but at least the rip current risk is going to be low. Now here's the high resolution forecast shows the clouds prevailing, but look at the rain showers beginning to increase Wednesday and then Thursday. Thunderstorms come roaring across the area and they will be producing significant rain in portions of the region. Here's how that happens. The high pressure that's been giving us the cool air shifts off to the east as another cold front makes its way down. That cold front is going to be kind of diffuse. It'll make its way into the area, but I have some disagreements with the official forecast and it may stay to the north of us, but it's going to be close enough to enhance those thunderstorms. What else is doing that? Upper level instability. Now what caused our rain this morning, this little mid-level disturbance moving across the area lifted that to produce the moisture. But here's the second system moving in, and this is the one that will give us the rain and thunderstorms Wednesday night and Thursday as it moves on through the region, and it intensifies as it's moving to the east. But Another system moves into range early next week. Now this one's still kind of iffy because it's a powerful system with multiple pieces of energy just where it maximizes that rainfall chance. Looks like Monday night. It's not going to be as potent as the one that we're getting Wednesday night and the Thursday when, for example, we're looking at one to one and a half inches with this storm system along the coastline Wednesday night and Thursday. The second system Monday night and Tuesday may produce another half to three Three quarters of an inch. So that's good rainfall for us. Fortunately, unfortunately, it's not in our watershed. Overnight tonight, down into the lower 60s, back into lower 70s tomorrow. Chance of rain and storms Wednesday night, Thursday, and after a great weekend, another chance.